Hello there, hi, I'm Bryn Hiscox, Hiscox Cases. Thank you for tuning in. In the late 70s, early 80s, I was building these loopback guitars. Um, and a customer bought one of my instruments and traveled home to America and he got there and the guitar didn't, it got smashed. Uh, at that point, I realized I had to do something about it. Um, it was one of those things that changed your life. Uh, back in those early days, I tried every single conceivable material because what I wanted, the design criteria, was that uh, back in those days, I needed a case for my own instruments that an average grown-up adult person could stand on the lid and your instrument will be safe. There's quite a number of molded cases out there, all using different uh, materials and different plastics. We use ABS, which is acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. And the reason we use that, it chemically bonds itself to the polyurethane molding. And by creating a composite construction, which is what it gives the, the, um, the, the lightweight, creating a composite construction with an outer shell, an inner fabric, and, and this sectional thickness of, of, of a honeycomb foam molding, that gives the incredible um, triple shield technology, which we're calling, which is, the, which is the, sh the crush strength and the shock absorbency and the thermal protection, all wrapped up in one composite construction. Shock absorbing is really, really important with a musical instrument because they get bumped and banged and all over the place. But typically, I'll show you what it means. This is a piece of half inch ply, which is typical in all plywood cases. They're not gonna be half inch thick, they'll be half that thickness. But if I just show you, that really stings. One tap and the, and the shock, because it's such a solid medium, is traveled straight through to whatever's on the inside and that will be your guitar. <coughs> what we have in our um, triple shield technology, which is our light flight design, <coughs> is this composite construction, and we've got fantastic shock absorbency. I mean, I can start to hit it harder and harder and harder and as hard as I like, and I can still hold it comfortably. This whole structure is a cellular structure. It's full of little bubbles. In fact, they, they are um, thermally insulating bubbles. They're full of an insulating gas. But those bubbles, when it gets hit, when it gets hit they will move and, and shuffle about around each other. And the shock gets absorbed by each individual bubble as it goes through. So by the time you get to the inside, a lot of that shock has gone. And a very important part of the case design is that you don't want all your hardware, your handle, lock, hinges, catches, falling off. I mean, we've been going now for 35 years and I don't think we've had a case back where the bits have dropped off. And the main reason for that is the fact that we use an aluminium balance, an aluminium rim around the case. Uh, it's much more than the customer can see. That's what you see on the outside of the case. If I turn it round, you can see that's how big the aluminium rim is. And so we've got rivets for the hardware and the handle and the hinges go through the plastic into the aluminium room, all the way around the case. Unlike a lot of other molded cases, this is AN other molded case, looks very similar to ours on the outside, and we turn it over, and guess what, on the inside, you've even got less aluminium on the inside than the outside. And this is a very typical other method of production. They've used the polystyrene molding, which they glue in afterwards and they use this method of construction, you can see that the fixing is actually only fixed into the plastic. So when you buy a Hiscox case, and that's all you see, you get more than you see every time. At the very heart of the Hiscox case design is the polyurethane core. It's the essence of the composite structure. It's the essence of the bonding of the outside to the inside. It's what gives the whole structure its, its structural integrity. Uh, and it goes in between, the, the, the liquid is, is pumped in between an outer press, which holds the, the, um, the plastic, and the inner press, which holds the fabric, and the shape of the inner molding on the inside. It bonds itself to every square millimeter of the, the outer plastic and every square millimeter of the inner lining at the same time. 
Um, the lining inside our cases is not just any old fabric. It's a polyester fabric, but it's triple laminated. Why is it triple laminated? Well, it's all part of the composite construction, which we keep going on about. This composite, triple shield technology, light flight construction, it's all part of the same thing. So um, every single item in a Hiscox case is thought through right to the nth degree. What we want when we bond the fabric is we want the fabric to be bonded without any use of any separate adhesives or solvents. That's just, we don't want that at all because it will come off. So we choose polyurethane foam, we choose ABS because that bonds the polyurethane foam and we choose to line the fabric with a polyurethane foam with a polyurethane lining. What that gives us when we bond it all together is we have this fabulously molded finish with the fabric bonded to every single square millimetre of that internal moulding. It won't come off. Over the 35 years, we now supply nearly 200 of the world's finest makers, from the ultra-classical right the way through to the ultra-modern carbon fibre um, creations of people like Emerald and uh, Rob Green Status Graphite. And they choose to come back to us, and they choose to keep using Hiscox cases. Maybe you should consider it being your choice.